Hey, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about interview questions for app developers. Alright, so today I want to answer a question that came in on episode 556 from Captain Alpha. Captain Alpha says, Hey man, I hope you're doing super well. Thanks, Captain Alpha. Uh, I just have a quick question concerning code interviews in companies. What kind of interview questions do they ask apps developers and how can I be a problem solver? Thank you in advance. Now, Captain Alpha, I have to say, it's been a while since I've been in an interview. The reason I took this question is because we're gonna put this out to the group and hopefully a lot of you guys who've been to an interview recently could put some of the questions you've been asked as app developers in the comments, right? When I, and I've been to a lot of interviews in my time, uh, and back then it was it was more like tell me how many uh, clustered indexes you can have on a SQL Server table, what's the difference between uh, inheritance and an interface, you know that kind of stuff. Tell me about dependency injection, uh, things like that. And they were just you know, your standard technical questions mixed in with the other questions. So typically, what what happens, at least. It's happened in most of the cases I've been in these is I would have an interview I would have the first interview with a technical person and we would go through technical stuff and I would get the okay and then I would go on to the owner and then it would be more general questions so the, the technical questions are, might be the bit you stress more about but it's more the how well do you de deal with the the other types of questions are you the type of person who would want they'd want to work with so when it comes to those soft skill questions so the technical questions those are what they are. Usually, they try to they try to trip you up with stuff about inheritance and encapsulation and and things a little bit more on an abstract scale, right? But when it comes to the softer skills, when you're dealing with a company owner or the senior manager or whatever you have to do, there's a lot of questions that just remain consistent. Like tell tell me about a reason why I wouldn't hire you. Tell me where you want to be in five years. Yada yada yada. All that kind of stuff. Now I know I've talked about this book before. At least I think I have. This was a book that I read years ago called Great Answers to Tough Interview Questions. Mine's really old copy, but it was like it was so. It was such an interesting book. You think it would be really boring, but it's got all these questions and and like the ideal answers. So like when somebody says, and they're really corny, by the way. So, but it gives you an idea. So when somebody says, "Tell us a reason why I wouldn't hire you," and then you have to have some BS thing like, "Well, I'm a bit of a perfectionist." Leo, you know, something that that's like a humble brag. Like it's something like. You're trying to make it sound like it's, a, it's a, a bad thing, but it's kind of a good thing. It's really cheesy, and you don't really do that so much. But I mean, you can if you want to. Just kind of know those questions are there when they come up because you can think about them uh, beforehand. But when it comes to the, so the best question I've ever been asked was like the first time. I didn't even have like the, the, the job I was so surprised I got was the first IT job that I had. And the question they asked me that really floored me was, give me five reasons why a manhole cover is round. They said, this question is gonna seem a bit strange. There's no right answer to it, but tell me five reasons why a manhole cover is around is round in shape and I came up with a you know I, I said it's heavy you can roll it uh, you know it's it, it can't go in on itself if you, you turned it that kind of stuff you just little things just kind of come up and I think I came up with four and uh, that was one of the problem-solving skills and it was a question like tell us about a time when you had to convince a group of people to do things and stuff like that uh, and you, you'll see what you'll see what happens when you go but don't stress out smile breathe you know, take the interview questions. But for the technical stuff, please, everybody out there who's been to an app developer interview recently, please put it in the comments. What kind of questions were you asked? How well did you do? And uh, and hopefully we can help um, uh, we can help this guy out a little bit. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.